Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8 and 9. Want to go. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9. And he exalted him and giving him a name. Stop there. Now, before Jesus died, his name had authority only in the eighth realm. Before the cross, his name had only authority within the eighth realm. But when he died and rose, his office changed. Somebody say his office changed. It was no more eight alone. It was now in heaven, earth, and beneath the earth. So the name that God gave him was a new office. That office is the scope of his influence. The scope of the influence of his ministry. And God has highly exalted him. And giving him a name that is above all names. When you say Jesus, heaven, earth, under the earth, stand at attention. That name was not given to you as a delegated authority. Before the cross, the name was given to the disciple as a delegated authority. It was given to the disciple as a right. But for us, it's not given to us as a right. Do you hear what I said? He gives you his name as your name. You didn't hear this one. He gives you his name as your name. The new creation man. So you use the name Jesus as Jesus. You use the name what? Now let me prove something. Let's go to Ephesians 3.14. I, I just want you to get this because if the church understands this, you use the name, you use the name of Jesus as Jesus. So Ephesians 3.14 Jesus is our family name. Do you hear what I said? Jesus is our family name. Paul here speaking to the church of the Ephesians. You see, for this cause, for this cause, for this cause, I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Named. So, our family name is Jesus. He is called the man Christ Jesus. We are called Christ the church. So our family name is Jesus. So the name that God gave him that was highly exalted, it was a, a, the scope of the influence of his office. The authority that he has before the cross was only within the earth realm. And after the cross, he gave him authority, heaven, earth, beneath the earth which means there is a change in office there is a shift in authority that's why he told the disciple he said do not go out of the lordship of Israel because the authority was given to him within the word earth realm it was after his resurrection that he said authority in heaven and earth has been given unto me go ye hallelujah he's saying the same thing to us go ye now what, what am I trying to say I just want to bring you to a place that we are using the name Jesus as Jesus. That's why there are some places you enter. You don't need to say Jesus. You don't need, in fact, because the authority, authority that you carry, when possessors see you, they will start crying. Why? Because it speaks of the scopes of the influence of his ministry. When you don't have this revelation, you will not operate in that, in that power. 
And there is another person who says, In Jesus, in Jesus, in Jesus, I will not have that accident. In Jesus, wow, you have the accident. You know why? Because you have not come to a place of revelation that we share the same name with Christ. They all are called Balian. The church is called Christ. So we are Christ the church. He is the man, Christ Jesus. That is why Satan can never believe that Jesus is the Christ. The day he believes, he becomes born again. So he will never. The Bible says, whosoever believes that Jesus is Christ is born of God. Until we come to that place of revelation, there is a place that God is bringing the church to. Mm. God is bringing the church to a place of seeing him real. God is bringing the church to a place of oneness. 2020 is pointing the church to a direction. I'm telling you, and I, I repeat, the message of Christ will hit the continent of the earth again. And you, if you are a minister and you are not honest, sincere, the years ahead will fizzle you out. That's the truth. Because I see a move that is coming. People are hungry for God. People are hungry. People are hungry for God. So look at the prayer. That we are going to pray the prayer of Paul now. Tadia. Look at your neighbor and, and, and say, Labare Hata in your own tongue. Mama na na na, vavanda tataya, bronda tatatatia. Hey, he said for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that you may be strengthened with might in your. In look at now. Look at the content of the prayer. He was not praying for material things. He was not praying for physical things. He was praying for a spiritual deposit in the spirit man. He said, For this cause, I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That you may be what strengthened. And the word strengthened is the word invigorated. That you may be invigorated with might, walking miracle ability of God on the inside of you. Put down on your stomach and say, Keep a lack of tired. Let there be strength on the inside of me. I receive dunamis on the inside. Kila barakata. He was praying for them for spiritual deposit. Bas, bas, bas. He was praying for them for spiritual deposit. Inkatos kala barakata. Open your mouth and declare. Shakata barakata. Ashkala brakatoska. Shakwata brakatoska. Shakata barakata. Barakatokatoba. That I may be strengthened with might on the inside. That I may be strengthened with might in my inner man. Kim barakatos kala brakatia. I receive strength on the inner man. I receive dynamics on the inner man. I receive power on the inner man. Let my inner man be strengthened up. Let my inner man be empowered for the next phase of ministry. Hear me. Listen, let me explain something. Let me give you a little exegesis. Ephesian is a city of witches and wizards. I'm telling you. But yet, when the apostolic grace hit the city, the whole city was transformed. And it takes the oil, the anointing, to hit a city and change a city. There are people that have anointing for cities. There are people that have anointing for nations. There are people that have anointing for communities. But I see in this meeting there are diverse anointing that are going to come on you. If it's anointed for a city and you are you are busy struggling to have anointing for nation, it doesn't work like that. You have to stay within the jurisdiction of the grace and the unction that is on your life. And when you stay within the jurisdiction of the grace that is on your life, demons will be scared of you. Somebody is not hearing what I'm saying. Say, Father, I 
receive dynamics i receive strength on the inside of me that will take me to my next phase my next journey you know why he said to them that that may be strengthened with might by the spirit in your inner man because there is a journey when you read down the prayer the content of the prayer is about spiritual deposit i'll, I'll go through the epistle but each time when when i land on this ephesians 3 14 it touched me he was not praying for them god protect them when a man received dynamics on the inside that you may be strengthened with might by the spirit in the inner man it covers everywhere it covers everything you become jesus because you are christ the church you are what christ the church so when they see you on earth they see jesus you are the express image of christ in the earth realm they are. Say, I receive strength on my inner mind. In my inner mind, I receive dynamics in the inside of me. I am invigorated with might from now henceforward in Jesus' name. I will only take three prayer points, then we will be through. The second prayer point we are going to deal with satanic pregnancy. Pregnancy that are harsh in satanic womb, waiting for a set time, waiting for the gate of 2020. Hosea said, Give, oh, give them, oh God, what will thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and a dry brace. Because witchcraft can be transferred through breastfeeding. So he said, Even the breast, the breastfeeding should be cut off. But that's not the part that I'm interested in. I want us to connect in the spirit now and begin to give them, oh Lord, what will thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and a dry breast. We are going to speak to every satanic womb that is pregnant for evil for the days ahead. We command abortion and miscarriage in the realm of the spirit. Open your mouth and prophesy. Speak to every satanic womb. Satanic pregnancy. Every pregnancy that terminates a mandate. Every pregnancy that terminates a vision. Every pregnancy that wait for you at a particular level in ministry. Give them, oh God, what will thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and give them a dry brace. I speak into the womb, every satanic womb. I speak into every, every mysterious satanic pregnancy. Every accumulation. Begin to command. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. This is warfare now. Listen. They are satanic accumulation. They are called satanic pregnancy. Satanic accumulation. They are being accumulated in the spirit. You see, your praise and worship is accumulated. Your giving is accumulated. In the realm of the spirit, there is what we call an accumulation. Whatever is accumulated negatively in the realm of the spirit waiting for a season waiting for a time to, to open up and begin to harass you to begin to victimize you to begin to harass you left and right we are going to cause abortion say abortion 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 speak abortion to every satanic womb speak abortion to every satanic pregnancy speak abortion to every pregnancy of the enemy that is hanging in the atmosphere waiting for a set time in your life I speak to every satanic pregnancy, satanic sanctions. waiting for a set time is aborted in the name of Jesus in Jesus name because of time all that we will have God have for us today we will all receive it That's the, this is the last prayer point say what unto him that decree and unrighteous decree Isaiah 10 1 
Woe unto him that decree an unrighteous decree. And the Romans 8 3 said, Who shall lay a charge against the elect of God? For it is God that justifies. Charges are sanctioned. They are satanic, they are satanic sanction. Satanic decrees. They are sanctioned. When there is a sanction in the realm of the spirit, and the sanction is like a covering on your head. A sanction when a nation passes sanction on a particular nation, they want to cripple that nation. Sanction are demonic speakings hanging on the destiny of a man. It may be marital destiny, it may be financial destiny, it may be your spiritual destiny. As long as they are hanging there, I am telling you it will take off because they want to cripple you in that area until you say, God, remove that sanction, remove the sanction. May the sanction over my life in this area may it be removed. When that sanction is not removed, Satan is not, is not scared of your anointing. I repeat, listen to me first. He is not afraid of your anointing. What Satan is afraid of is this what we call the scope of influence of ministry called authority. Satan doesn't understand. He knows that way, but it's in part. What Satan respects is authority. It's not power. Anointing is power. But I'm telling you, when you come in an influence of authority, Satan will bow. That is why he didn't say, he said, all authority in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth. Cover there. From today, exercise that authority. I say, exercise that authority. Exercise that authority. Exercise that authority. Exercise that authority. Just follow this prayer and then we'll, pull, we'll run up. Say it. May the sanction taken against me from my father house, my mother house, or the environment wherein I live, any sanction that is coming from the environment of my assignment, and the environment is reacting and fighting against me because of the sanction that is in that environment against me. I command the power and the influence of that sanction to be broken and be removed now. Watch this and see. You know why? We are praying under a corporate anointing of the body. They are, they are divine. See, there are certain things that can only be sought or can be sorted out only under corporate anointing of the body. That's why when we come as a body and we are praying and you look big, you don't know you are cheating yourself. There are things that individual anointing cannot do. It takes corporate anointing of the body. I've learned that. That's why when we come to corporate prayer, I don't play, I don't play with it. There are things that it takes corporate anointing of the body to dislodge it. Cover the yard. Say any sanction against me from the underworld region underworld kingdom to make the environment wherein I live produce tongues and tissue to me be lifted and removed right now let sanction of a magician be removed let sanction of a mandate be removed every witchcraft sanction every demonic sanction every manipulation of sanction every kind of sanction that is programmed projected in the terrorist ahead I command it to be removed now every sanction that say I will not finish well in the name of Jesus let me tell you something. When I see the exit of the Rabonke, something bleed on the inside of me. And it's for joy. He finished well. There are people that carry heavy anointing. But because you don't understand the dimension of sanction in warfare, you, you pray all the kind of prayer, you, the, all the dimension of prayer, you know it. One area you are ignorance of. Satan will make you to be captive in that area. Today, every sanction that is waiting for you at the finishing line power, that is what we call the finishing line power. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive the power line anointing now and cross over to the next nation. Cross over to the next dimension. Cross over to the next dimension. Today I prophesy 
that every sanction that is placed over your vision, that is placed over your mandate, that is placed over your family, that is placed over your business, that is placed over that which you carry on the inside, I command that sanction to be removed now. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a sanction over you that you will never manage. I command that sanction to be removed now. If you are a man sitting down here, if there is a sanction hanging on you, I command that sanction to be removed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree freedom for you. I create an atmosphere in the spirit now. Lord God, that let the ministering spirit be released. Let them be released. Let us have an experience and an encounter, a visitation with you. Kadia, kadaya, ilakata, baranda kita kadia. Alla la 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 la. I kada da 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 da. Ara kada da 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 da. Ata da 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 da. Ata da 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 da. Just lift up your hand. I saw the anointing coming on people. Lift up your hand. I saw the anointing. Anointing falling on people. Anointing is falling on people. Anointing is falling on people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for what you will do in our mix. We return all the glory to you. We come in humility, meekness of heart. Do what it pleases you. What it pleases you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I saw somebody, somebody like something in your throat. I saw that thing just come out. I saw like a finger, like a hand going through your throat. And he removed that thing. If you are the person, just wait. Let me see. Wow, wonderful. It will never return back again. Thank you, Lord Jesus.